Uh, now let's have a look at the Prime Minister today. Anthony Albanese was in Brisbane where he unveiled his vision for a future made in Australia to the Queensland Media Club. This comes as Peter Dutton slammed Labor for failing manufacturing businesses. Basil, just going to start with you again on this. What did you actually think of Albanese's manufacturing proposal today? Uh, well, it's um, ambitious, if you like, but it is a touch confusing. And I think there's lots of people who would far prefer the Prime Minister to just concentrate on the basics, get the tax settings right, make sure that inflation is under control, encourage manufacturing in other ways and, in a, in a sense, be there to assist and get out of the road. It, it, it was a little confusing. Um, there is some ambition to it. But again, you would say to greatly support manufacturing in Australia, let's just try and get the basics right, get the basic government settings correct and manufacturing will flow. So I'm not sure that it is going to be especially well received, particularly by industry who need those settings to be right. Yeah. Look, NDIS has also been in the spotlight in a big way this week. Danica, uh, multiple scandals day after day, allegations that money uh, was misspent on criminals. Uh, there's now a review, but there are providers who are concerned that uh, this review will mean that they might be cut out or forced to jump through hoops in order to be registered. What do you think about this? Look, Shari, the problem with the NDIS right now is it's a behemoth, OK? It was initially designed for the most severely disabled Australians and now, in terms of total cost, it has outstripped the cost of Medicare and is coming up to outstripping the cost of defence. And simply, it's it's just blown out. Half of the problem with this is the testing scheme. Well, it's not, it's not means-tested altogether. But a lot of the participants on the NDIS, and this is what has been raised... Uh, by that review is that people are on the scheme. There's about 45% for autism. Uh, and so concerns have been raised about what that now looks like. But we can't go past the rorts. We can't go past uh, all of these issues that have been coming up. But it just gets to the heart of it, uh, Shari, that uh, it has grown from what was meant to be helping the most people in need to now uh, this giant scheme which has blown out. Now, we do have that review, and, and Bill Shorten did last week try and introduce some legislation, uh, but it's very, very difficult to implement, and I can't see how it's going to be fixed unless this scheme becomes means-tested. Yeah, and it's important to say, isn't it, $42 billion it's going to cost this year, $42 billion. That is an extraordinarily large sum of money. It's not dead. It's, it's not terminal yet, but it is very, very sick. And as Danika said, and Shari, as you've mentioned, I mean, the NDIS is now something that it was never really intended to be. It, it was a noble beginning. It, it, it made sense. It was trying to help our most vulnerable. Now it is out of control. Some of our most vulnerable are still helped, that's for sure. But there are industries that have spun off from industries that have spun off from industries that are involved with the NDIS. And this is not what was intended. Yeah.